Oh, there's a little bite there, there's fish. Hey folks, welcome to this week's show. We're here on the Ocean Eagle 5 out of Sheepshead Bay with Captain Greg Nardiello and his brothers. Glenn is on the boat today as well, and we're gonna show you a summer smorgasbord of summer bottom fishing here in the New York Bite area. A lot of sea bass, ling, pout, blackfish we're gonna throw back, and believe me, they're all gonna be bigger than this, but it's just a sample, which is why this, this week's show is such a great one to get the kids watching because it's easy to get them involved. You get them out in the water, catch a whole ton of sea bass. It's nonstop action. We'll throw that one back. But you're going to see nice big jumbo sea bass, eels, blackfish, fluke. You'll see all kinds of fish come up today. Here's a, now look at the size of the sea bass coming up right here. This is exactly what we're talking about on this week's show. Let's hold that up. Look at the colors on this. This is what we're looking for today. A big humpback male sea bass. Look at the colors on that. And that's all coming up this week on the fish line on the Ocean Eagle 5 at the Sheepshead Bay. Right here. Look at that. Look at the colors and the hump on that. Man, oh man. Woo! Nice. All right, folks. It's time for the Northeast Premier Fishing Show. The Fishing Line with Rich Johnson. Now in our second decade. The Fishing Line is brought to you by... Marine Formula Stable. To prevent the damaging effects of ethanol in your fuel tank, use Marine Formula Stable. And by the Long Island Power Authority. More choice, better service, LIPA. And by the Fishing Report Hotline. 24-hour fishing reports by phone when you need them. This is Ed's boat. It costs big bucks. Yeah. This is new Marine Formula Stay Bill Ethanol Treatment. It costs a few bucks. When Ed fuels up, he doesn't add new Marine Formula Stay Bill. Nah. Too bad. Because the ethanol in his fuel caused engine deposits and corrosion. Now it won't start. And repairs are big bucks. Poor Ed. Marine Formula Stay Bill would prevent that. With twice the corrosion protection, four times the cleaners. Now when you fill up and when you store, start with Stay Bill. Oh, fish on, here we go. Hey, folks, when I'm not out here doing the Fishing Line television show, guess what I'm doing? I'm on WGBB 1240 AM bringing you the Fishing Line radio show every Saturday afternoon with up-to-the-minute fishing reports throughout the show, weekly guest experts sharing their tips and secrets, and we take your phone calls live on the air. If you want to know where the fish are, not where they were, join me every Saturday afternoon at 4 p.m. on WGBB 1240 AM radio for the Fishing Line. Ready for your private or group charter, Captree's 65-foot Bay Princess is Captree's only choice for bass, blues, fluke, blackfish, or any species. Large, roomy, and clean, the Bay Princess offers group charters with a family tradition and atmosphere with the Manzari family. Captain Nick's Bay Princess and Island Princess is comfortable Captree fishing at its best. For private fishing and pleasure charters or open boat half-day fishing, call Captain Nick at 631-587-6024. 631-587-6024. Hey, fishermen! For the most comprehensive reports and fishing information on the Internet, log on to www.thefishingline.com. Thefishingline.com has fishing reports for boats, surf, freshwater, or party and charter boats for Long Island's tri-state area. Now you can listen to the Fishing Line radio show live on the web, Saturdays at 4 p.m., or see video clips of the TV show. Know where they are, not where they were, with thefishingline.com. What you need to know in fishing, it's www.thefishingline.com. This is an absolutely perfect July day. You don't get days like this in July to go bottom fishing, do you? Uh, yes, you do, Rich. Well, but I don't think it's so perfect. It's a little breezy. <laughs> well, we got the humidity is way down. It's only going to be 80 degrees. It's just a few days before July 4th, as a matter of fact. But this bottom fishing goes through the whole summer. A lot of people just get the spring and fall mentality of bottom fishing, right? No, we've had a consistent fishing from the start of sea bass fishing. Earlier in the year it was slow with the cold water, but it's been uh, pretty consistent and it goes right through the summer. You do get your uh, dull points, but usually we could catch you something, if not sea bass, ling, or porgies. 
And that's the great thing about bottom fishing, folks, is you have such a variety, and you'll get a couple of bluefish and a couple of striped bass, and certain times of the year you'll get the porgy, sea bass, blackfish, and it's really like a smorgasbord. Right? When, we're, when we're sea bass fishing, from now on in, we catch a lot of really large fluke, usually. Right. We see a lot of them. Sometimes we see more than the fluke boats. Now, where we're fishing, this is going to be a lot of large, open, rough bottom. It's not so much like it is back to the east on Long Island, where it's singular pieces and wrecks and reefs. We're fishing a lot of wide open, rough bottom, right? Uh, where we're fishing, it's a lot of open bottom. We're actually fishing down south. We're going to fish uh, Seabright, Long Branch, offshore Seabright. A lot of natural bottom. Goes for a couple miles. And if I have to, I'll be into Long Branch. There's less bottom there, but it's still natural rock spread out all over the place. And in order to catch the fish this time of year, we prefer to drift it. There are a few places I could fish spots we could catch some, but this time of year when the water's getting warmer, I really need to drift fish so I could cover a lot of bottom because the fish is spread out this time of year. And it's been pretty productive lately. We'll see what happens today. So, Greg, what are some of the amenities of this boat? We know it's a beautiful ocean holding boat, but you got some other great stuff here on the boat as well. Well, the amenities of this boat versus others down here is we're the largest bottom fish boat. As far as I'm concerned, uh, we're the most seaworthy vessel down here for bottom fishing in Sheepshead Bay. I got two V12 engines. We're the fastest bottom fish boat in Sheepshead Bay, even though we don't set any speed records. And the biggest amenity is my crew and myself. As far as I'm concerned, I have more experience of this ocean down here and more range than any boat out of Sheepshead Bay. I used to commercial blackfish. That's the fish I really love to catch. It's too bad the DEC makes me uh, keep only four fish. But those are the amenities, but we have ladies' accommodations, we have beautiful tackle for sale that I make myself, a specific hook that we sell over boats also, and we generally try to keep it a nice, friendly family atmosphere, and we welcome all novices, and we'll show you how to fish if you don't know how. Can't ask for anything better than that, folks. Let's get to some fishing now, Greg. Yeah. Ooh, double head of sea bass. Two sea bass. Well, it feels good. As a sea bass. Yeah, baby, that's a keeper. Two pieces, right? Woo! On a big piece of clam, look at that. You guys in the back, just to let you know, you could probably cast 200. Look at that beautiful. Big mouth on these things. They can take big baits, big strip baits. If you look at the colors, that's beautiful. Put that in a bucket here. I'll try this straight up and down. If I don't get one, I just cast a little bit out. Just toss it out a little bit. Because you have so much open bottom, so much rough bottom here that's spread over such an area. You can just cast out a little bit further away from the boat, a little bit further away from the boat, and you're on new bottom. There's a bite. Come on. That feels like a nice sea bass there. Ooh, yeah. Like that. Come on. Let's see. Come on, baby. Blackfish. Look at that. Keep a blackfish. Knew, I knew that felt pumping good, thumping good. Season's closed here in New York. That one's going to go back. That's a keeper size 14 inch. Nice. Woo. Hey, folks, you've been coming to the fishingline.com site for years for the only up to the minute fish reports on the web. Now get the same great reports 24 hours a day by telephone. That's right. The new Fishing Line report line is up and running, and best of all, it's free. No membership fees, no pay-by-the-minute fees, it costs you nothing. A free phone call for the best updated reports 24 hours a day, all by phone. Call 516-977-2088. 516-977-2088. 
Ready for your private or group charter, Captree 65-foot Bay Princess is Captree's only choice for bass, blues, fluke, blackfish, or any species. Large, roomy, and clean, the Bay Princess offers group charters with a family tradition and atmosphere with the Manzari family. Captain Nick's Bay Princess and Island Princess is comfortable Captree fishing at its best. For private fishing and pleasure charters or open boat half-day fishing, call Captain Nick at 631-587-6024. 631-587-6024. Hey, fishermen! For the most comprehensive reports and fishing information on the Internet, log on to www.thefishingline.com. Thefishingline.com has fishing reports for boats, surf, freshwater, or party and charter boats for Long Island's tri-state area. Now you can listen to the Fishing Line radio show live on the web, Saturdays at 4 p.m., or see video clips of the TV show. Know where they are, not where they were, with Thefishingline.com. What you need to know in fishing, it's www.thefishingline.com. So, Greg, you were saying that last piece was just miles of bottom, just piece after piece after piece, and now you're looking for something that sticks up a little bit more? Yes, it's bottom throughout the whole area. We're just looking for something a little higher, a little stickier. The whole ride out, we've been on rock. And we're just looking to find specific parts of it that seem to hold a few more fish. Right. That's it. We're going to try out here. It was very good a couple days ago. And we'll see if we left anything to catch on anchor. Yeah, baby. Oh, that feels like a nice, maybe double header. Like keep them coming, come up nice. And, keep them coming, keep them coming. Ooh, it feels like, feels like good one. That's a nice sea bass. Another keeper. Another keeper. Nice keep of sea bass. Oh, nice sea bass right behind you. Look at the size of this one right here. Nice one. Whenever I'm spending a full day on the water, I want to make sure I have my party boat survival kit. A small bag is all you really need to bring out. Don't worry about food so much on the Ocean Eagle because a galley is phenomenal, but some boats don't have a galley, so make sure you bring what you're going to eat that day. Number one, water. You can't have enough water on the boat. Stay away from the, the coffee, stay away from the sweet, sugary drinks, and stay away from the alcohol. Water is the absolute best thing, bar none, that you can have when you're out on the boat. Sunscreen, of course, very important. Usually on the beach, I use a 15, but I'm on a party boat, I'll bring a 30 or a 45. Why? Because I only want to put it on once. I don't want to be handling sunscreen and bait all day long. So put the sunscreen on once. Remember the tops of your ears, your widow peaks, your nose, and the back of your neck as well. And I wear long pants on a party boat in case the flies are biting, but it also keeps my legs covered from the sun. But bring one you only have to put on once, maybe twice during the day. Another one is there's no ad. This is a sunblock that has an insect repellent in it, which is very important because sometimes when you have no wind out here, the black flies can become a nuisance or the gnats, and having a sunscreen and insect repellent in one is also very good to have. Hand sanitizer. You can't have a hand sanitizer and come out here and hand, handle bait all the time. So if you want to eat your lunch, you want to make sure you have a hand sanitizer, clean your hands in between baiting up and eating your meals as well. Another thing I bring is a little chapstick sunblock. This is very important. A lot of people forget their lips. A lot of full days. You can get sunburn on the lips too. So make sure you have this. And this is a 30 sunblock. It's a minimum I'll use in this kind of product. I also bring a pair of pliers. I have my manly pliers with me at all times. Spring loaded. They also are able to cut through hooks. If I get a hook in myself, I can cut it right out and I'll be ready to go and keep fishing. I also bring a light rain jacket and a rain suit. You never know if a late thunderstorm is going to come up during the course of the day or if you get a cool day with some clouds, you might get a sprinkle. And even just to keep the wind off me, if I get a little bit more wind, it can keep me warm as well. And finally, I bring sunglasses. I bring my dark ones to the bright sunny days like this, but I also bring a pair of amber glasses for the cloudy or the rainy days. It still protects my eyes from the UV and the sun. Also allows me to see through the water better than the dark sunglasses do. But either way, make sure you're prepared for a full day in your favorite party boat. Well, what I'm doing is now see, you see me just flipping away from the boat because what happens is as you sit on the anchor and you pick, 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 you're on such a big piece of bottom here 
that if you're on your own private boat, you might drop back on the anchor and create new bottom underneath you by doing that. But on a party boat, as you're picking around right on top of you, you can flip up, you can flip out. All this, everything you see here is all big rough bottom. So just by flipping away from the boat, I'm creating new bottom by putting my bait on new bottom and maybe seeing fish that haven't seen my bait before. Oh, that, oh, that one hit there. Oof. Oof. It's much better. It hit like a much better fish. Anyway, come on, come on, baby. Let's see what we got here. Every once in a while he fights again like I thought I had two on there for a while, but what do we got here? It's a fluke! Yeah! Came right off the hook too. See, you catch a lot of fluke. This one's not 21 inches by any means. It's probably about 17 or so. But you catch a lot of fluke on some of these trips as well on the Ocean Eagle, which is why this and you Captain Al and some of the other bottom fishing boats who support us here in the fish line, you catch a lot of fluke like this because you're out on open bottom, you're fishing rough bottom, you're fishing mixed bottoms. There's a lot of bait out here. Sea bass, pout, ling, Conga eels, silver eels, porgies. We haven't seen any porgies here, which is surprising. Another fish on here, but look at that. Throw that one back. Whew, a lot of fish on this boat. Hey, fishermen, for the most comprehensive reports and fishing information on the Internet, log on to www.thefishingline.com. Thefishingline.com has fishing reports for boats, surf, freshwater, or party and charter boats for Long Island's tri-state area. Now you can listen to the Fishing Line radio show live on the web, Saturdays at 4 p.m., or see video clips of the TV show. Know where they are, not where they were, with thefishingline.com. What you need to know in fishing, it's www.thefishingline.com. Ready for your private or group charter, Captree's 65-foot Bay Princess is Captree's only choice for bass, blues, fluke, blackfish, or any species. Large, roomy, and clean, the Bay Princess offers group charters with a family tradition and atmosphere with the Manzari family. Captain Nick's Bay Princess and Island Princess is comfortable Captree fishing at its best. For private fishing and pleasure charters or open boat half-day fishing, call Captain Nick at 631-587-6024. 631-587-6024. Hey folks, you've been coming to the FishingLine.com site for years for the only up-to-the-minute fishing reports on the web. Now get the same great reports 24 hours a day by telephone. That's right, the new Fishing Line report line is up and running and best of all, it's free. No membership fees, no pay-by-the-minute fees, it costs you nothing. A free phone call for the best updated reports 24 hours a day, all by phone. Call 516-977-2088, 516-977-2088. I'm like, ooh, this feels pretty good. I don't know. There's so many silver eels coming up and, and conga eels and ling and double-headed sea bass. I don't know what this is here. It feels better than some of the little sea bass I've been throwing back. What do we got here? Come on. Let's see. Nice sea bass. Look at the colors on that fish. Look how beautiful that is. Big greens. Keep a sea bass right there. Careful these double double rig hooks. That's a beauty right there. Look at that. Look at the colors on that. Now the tackle, you supply rods and reels. If somebody needs it on the boat, you bring a kid or a family, you got rods and reels. But well, if somebody want to bring their own tackle, what would, what would you suggest? Rod, reel wise? Any, uh, any rod that can handle a five or six, five, an eight ounce sinker or a six to eight ounce sinker and anything with 20 pound test at least 20 30 pound test would be fine blackfish 40 pound test i would say is almost a must right you could get away with 30 but why lose the fish they aren't line shot now the summer smorgasbord we're doing on the ocean eagle five with captain greg i came out with 20. i really should have 25 or 30 because you're tying the sea bass rig within the line itself without a shock leader like you would for blackfish and that would actually help the knots keep the leaders away from each other right it would help to keep it away from each other you can always tie a, you can tie a shock right. leader on your mono right why not 
Now, as far as reels, rods, six and a half, seven foot rod, and this really is conventional tackle. Okay. You don't really endorse spinning tackle on this kind of fishing. Do I don't, but a lot of people use it. I don't. In, I don't like spinning tackle on a party boat, but people love it as long as they can handle it. But uh, all of them fish with too light a line. They go through yep. a lot of tackle. Cost them a lot of money at the end of the day for hooks and sinkers. The line's always breaking. But uh, yeah, I would prefer a conventional outfit if I was fishing on a boat, seven foot, seven and a half. Right. Anything you're comfortable with. Too long is kind of silly, but I've seen people here with 10 foot rods. Now you don't really need to have giant reels. We're talking six, eight ounce sinkers. I'm using a 10 a couple times today because we had a lot of wind and a lot of current this morning. But for the most part, anything that's going to handle, you know, a couple of hundred yards of line is all you really need. Yeah, we never fish more than uh, this time of year, maybe 150 foot of water. Right. I like fishing with a little 320 newel, a right. 220 newel, small right. one. Yeah. That's what I like on the rods I use, because I use pretty light stuff. And most of the drops we're fishing today were 40, 50 feet, 70 was the tops we went to this yeah, today. The top right? one today right now is 75 foot of water. All right, well we got some fish coming up, let's get back to small fishing. I switched over to Greg's outfit, which actually has braid line on it, which made it a little bit easier to feel. But anything, you know, six and a half, seven foot rod, light tip, so you can feel the subtle bites. And you can use mono, 30 pound mono. You can use the braid if you want. I think this one is fighting bigger than the size indicates. Oh, it's a double header sea bass. There you go. Look at that. Woo, double header. Nice. Throw that one back, and this one here, this one has a nice color to it. 
Look at that, nice male. Male has a longer big tail on it, a big tail fin on it, all the blue. You can see he's starting to get his hump back on there. Whew, I'm gonna measure that one just for kicks anyway. Nope, 11 inches short. They gotta be 12 and a half, but I just can't get over the blues. And look at, look at this in here, look at this. Another one coming up here, but just beautiful fish. Ooh, that one hit. I don't know if that's a double header or, or a better, better quality fish. Oh. Another sea bass. Let me measure this one. Yep, 13 inches. That's a keeper. Woo! Woo, let's see what we got here. Might have had a double header, one fell off. That's what it kind of felt like. That's a nice CBS right there. Nice yeah. Yes, yes. Oh yeah, nice CBS. Oh, that feels like a nice one there. Come on, let's see what we got. Had a double header early and one of them fell off. Another nice keeper, there you go. Look at that, that's a, a young male, but look at the blue on this, oh Lord. Look at that, let him zoom in on that. Look at the colors on that fish. Wow, love that color blue, fishing line blue. <laughs> Greg, you got a lot of families on the boat. Your father took you fishing since you were four. A lot of kids, and that's what the summer smorgasbord fishing is about, is getting the kids out because they're going to catch seven or eight different species of fish. They're always amazed at what's coming up, and you never know what's coming up when you bring a hook up. No, you never know what's coming up. And uh, the good thing about this kind of fishing is what we catch is also, we didn't mention this, it's excellent to eat. Yeah. And I love having children on the boat. I like having families. I like them even bringing their wives or their girlfriends. If they don't want to fish, I'll let them hang out up here all day and catch some sun. Like Rich said, my father took us fishing since we were uh, little kids. I was four when I started fishing on a party boat. It was three of us. A lot of work for the father and the parents, but I'll take care of them. And if it's a financial issue where they can't afford it, I'll give them a big break. Just that, those are the fishermen of the future. I want to see people continue fishing, even though New York State is trying to put everyone out of business. I would love to have a future in this business and retire doing it. So families, definitely welcome. The atmosphere on this boat, we don't carry nasty people. That's right. We give them a lot of service. We're nice people. My customers are nice. I, and people should not be discouraged to bring their families and children on, the, on boats fishing in Brooklyn or any other place. That's right. It's great. Thanks for being a guest on the show. You did Thank a great you, job. Rich. You put us on the meet today. Come out here. Get on the Ocean Eagle 5. Pier 5 in Sheepshead Bay sells every day, almost all year long at 7 a.m. Full day bottom fishing, summer smorgasbord. Check out their website. Greg did a great job. We appreciate it very much. We're going to see you folks right here next week on the fishing line. Man, there's a lot of, pe a lot of people catching fish here. Look at this. The fishing line with Rich Johnson was brought to you by. Marine Formula Stable. To prevent the damaging effects of ethanol in your fuel tank, use Marine Formula Stable. And by the Long Island Power Authority. More choice, better service, LIPA. And by the Fishing Report Hotline. 24-hour fishing reports. By phone when you need them.